Hello video editors, today we're exploring Project Sorter, a game-changing extension for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Whether you're dealing with scattered files or trying to keep a large project organized, this tool has you covered. Project Sorter is your ultimate organization assistant. You can sort files by their media type, duration, resolution, file extension, and more. It can move files, rename them, change labels, and even add metadata. Imagine dragging a file straight from your downloads folder into your timeline, and Project Sorter instantly moves it to the correct folder in your project. The interface is divided into three main sections, filters, parameters, and actions. Filters let you group items based on specific rules. Parameters are the conditions you set, like file type or resolution. Actions are what Project Sorter does once those conditions are met, like moving or renaming files. How filters work. Filters are at the core of Project Sorter. You can create a filter, give it a name, and even add a note to remind yourself what it's for. If you don't want to see the notes, you can hide them with a simple right click. Subfilters allow you to create even more specific rules, giving you complete control over how your items are organized. Here's how filtering works behind the scenes. First, Project Sorter checks if an item matches the conditions of a filter. If it does, it moves on to any subfilters. If no filters match, the parent filter's actions are applied. You can delete, cut, copy, and paste filters by right-clicking them. Parameters are the rules you set for your filters. Adding a parameter is easy. Just click the plus icon and choose a type from the menu. Some parameters, like file type, use drop-down menus, while others, like multicam clip, are simple checkboxes. When using parameters like name or file path, you don't need to match the text exactly. Even a single matching letter or word will work. Right-click the parameter to delete it. Now, let's talk about actions. You can add them by pressing the plus icon and choosing from the drop-down menu. Let's go over each action available. Move in project allows you to choose the parent folder for the targeted item. You can either type the folder path separated by slashes or select the parent folder and click the folder icon to automatically retrieve the path. There's also an option to set a relative path. Additionally, you can delete an item by toggling the corresponding checkbox. Move in file system lets you change the item's location on your computer. Click the folder icon to choose the destination for the file. You can toggle the R button to make the path relative to the project file location. There are also options to delete or rename the file. When renaming, you can create an entirely new name, insert new text, or replace a specified range of words. All words with borders can be toggled. When inserting, you can choose whether to insert the text before or after a specific word. When replacing, you can specify the range of words to be replaced. You can toggle between words and characters. There's an option to count words or characters starting from the beginning or the end. There's also an option to use regular expressions by selecting the regex feature. However, this functionality is not always ideal and may not work as expected. In the provided fields, you can input the regular expression and its corresponding flag. Some input fields support wildcards, which are displayed when the input element is focused. These wildcards will be replaced with the item's parameters, if applicable. Rename in Project works exactly the same way as renaming a file within your file system. You can change the label of a specific item using the label action. Scale to frame size does exactly what its name implies. Custom property allows you to add or modify the value of a custom property for an item. In Premiere Pro, you can add a custom property by right-clicking on a metadata name, selecting Premiere Pro Project Metadata, and then clicking Add Property. You can achieve the same result with Project Sorter. Simply provide the property name and value type. String for plain text, integer for whole numbers, real for any numerical value, checkbox for a true-false toggle. You can set values for multiple custom properties at once by clicking the plus icon next to Custom Property. Metadata Action Property allows you to assign values to predefined metadata properties, such as tape name, description, or good. You can also update multiple metadata properties simultaneously. To delete an action, right-click on it and select Delete. At the top of the UI, there is a bar for presets. Each preset contains its own filters, allowing you to customize filters for different types of projects. To add a new preset, press the plus icon. You can rename a preset by double-clicking its name. You can export one or all presets by right-clicking and choosing the appropriate option. To import presets, 
right-click the preset container, select the import option, and choose the appropriate JSON file. Here's how the project sorter hierarchy works. Presets. These are at the top of the hierarchy, and each preset has its own set of filters. Items are evaluated against the filters in the currently selected preset. Each preset is assigned specific parameters and actions. In the top left corner, there are buttons for key actions. The play button lets you manually sort items, while the link button activates automatic sorting. This live sorting feature works in Premiere Pro, so new items are organized as soon as they're added, even if project sorter is closed. The undo and redo buttons allow you to easily reverse or reapply changes within project sorter. Now let's look at differences between Premiere Pro and After Effects versions. Automatic sorting isn't available in After Effects due to API limitations. However, you can create a button in KBar. Go to Settings, Add Button, Open Extension, Choose Project Sorter, Write Random Stuff in the Event Input field. It's optional, but it won't work without it for some reason. Write Description and Choose Icon. Now, every time you press this button, selected items will be sorted. Some actions and parameters are exclusive to each program. For instance, Premiere Pro supports full metadata modification, while After Effects is limited to comments. Parameters that are exclusive to one program will be ignored in the other. That's everything you need to know about Project Sorter. This tool is designed to streamline your workflow and keep your projects organized, whether you're working in Premiere Pro or After Effects. You can find it now at aescripts.com.